Uh, to apply our stone, we're using a pre-blended mortar mix of cement, sand, and lime. The lime gives it a little bit of extra stick. This is going to work really well over a metal lath or over a concrete backer board like we have. And it's going to have the same strength and durability as a Type S mortar mix. To mix this up in small batches, you can use a bucket and a paddle mixer like we're doing, or you could use a commercial grade mixer. Either way, the process is the same. A little bit of water, a little bit of the mix, and mix it up really well till it's about the consistency of peanut butter or toothpaste. So installing the stone down here is uh, a bit different than the full veneer upstairs. Upstairs, you're basically stacking stone. You, you put a, a bunch of mortar on top of the last stone, you set the next one on top of it. Here, what we're doing, is we're taking a thin veneer, we slather some mud on the back, and then we, we put a little bit along the bottom here, but you're basically just gluing it to the concrete back of board. So here, I'll show you how the whole thing works. So we take a little little concrete, we just kind of slather it in, and we get a, a nice e even texture over the top of the whole thing. Then we want to create a little bit of a suction around the side, so we'll, we'll just add a bit of mud like this. And it's surprising how well it does work as a suction. This is uh, exactly the way the guys do it. Now we still do want to add just a little mortar on the stone itself, so we'll put that up there. Then you just stick your stone on the side like so and you kind of ooze it into position. And you can see how well that sticks. I mean that really does create a nice suction. Then you want to take your trowel and just kind of clean the edges up here a little bit. And of course the tough thing about this is keeping track of where you're going. Where's that pattern heading? I mean the guys are so good at doing this, that's what makes them the masters.